Man, what is going on with the King Week on here today? And this episode was straight up full of yes, my OTP Okikagu. Let's go! I mean, just everything. It was beautiful. I was like, but guys, before I get into anything in the actual um, uh, video for the for this week's Gintama episode, which was just gave me so much happiness, man. I seriously, because after the past couple of days, straight up being hectic and insane, I really needed this episode. And Gintama is always just always makes me so happy, and I really needed this. So I have to really give a huge thanks to them for making this awesome sauce because it it, it really it really really helped me out, man. And I'm I'm super happy I was able to witness it. But that, that goes on to my apology to why I did not bring out a live reaction I apologize I I, I just <laughs> it's been so hectic man I said you know what I won't be able to do it this week because it would take too long to, to render and load so I was like and I, I, that was probably not gonna be, be able to be done today so I just sat down and I watched the episode and then I decided to bring out this video it's been a while so then a, a, a little Gintama discussion for an actual episode itself I think since the comedy arcs yeah so we'll um it's, it's, it's just gonna be what it is that this week. It, I apologize. It's been it's been it's extremely hectic, but I really have to thank this episode for bringing out my spirits, man. It was hilarious, and everything just went down was amazing, man. Ah, oh. so dude, I mean, I don't even know where to start, man. I mean, first of all, one of my favorite moments in the arc and arguably the entire series, my favorite punch in all in all of anime when Gintoki nails Nobunobu because it was building up so well. And I remember when I read this in the manga, I was like, yo, I, I was ready for Hijikata to punch him with a falcon punch that would be heard all the way in the heavens. I was ready for Hiji Kasa to turn around and just go, ah, doom. But the fact that Gintoki did it meant so much more. You know, a drunk is enough to take out another drunk. And, yo, the thing is, is, is that I, I absolutely love that entire portion right there so much because Hiji Kasa, he understands, uh, you know, just what kind of person Gintoki is. You know, they've always been on such opposite, opposing spectrums, but they will, they will do anything. You know, they will do anything for, the, for each other. And, it's it's yeah, phenomenal. I, I I I love that scene every time in the anime. They did a great job of showcasing that punch because that was one of the greatest punches. When he took it, turned around, he punched the hell out of Nobu Nobu. I was like, yes, yes. Because man, Nobu Nobu, I have to give him credit for being an amazing villain because the dude was make, really pissing me off, especially with whatever he was touching upon Shige Shige. Uh, he he needed the smackdown laid upon him, and and the smackdown was laid, and it was done great. Now Gintoki has been taken, or or at least he 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 was uh, being taken by the Mimi Gumi, which by the way, Sasaki in this episode was hilarious. And he was taking pictures of Nobu Nobu, <laughs> and, and all that stuff. That was, that was hilarious. A shout out to Otai. Otai was killing me this episode. Whenever she was talking about Kondo, oh god, I mean, no, no, she, the little scene with her and Shinpachi killed me enough, you know. But God, in that portion, it's like oh, you guys aren't policemen. You, you, you got like oh god that was that was that was, that was amazing that was absolutely phenomenal but then we get to the awesome sauce showing katsura bro my boy and the thing is is the great thing about it is how they built it up because you're like yo we don't know who is this guy and then he looks over he's about to have all the tidy whiteys can took his eyes open up and he's like oh snap and you know because he's talking about shige shige man because remember how the episode started with Costa talking to it about his old friend, and that hit home, man, because you guys remember how much Costa and, 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 and Shige Shige, especially with that uh, confessional arc that was animated earlier on in the, in the, um, in the, in this 2015 version of Gintama, like, like, these guys have always been going at it, but now Costa, man, he's gonna fulfill his promise to him, man, and it's, it's, it's amazing, so here he goes, he's helping out the guys that he's always been against, right, now he's being taken away, and right now he is in a jail cell right across from Kondo and I love the converse how they start off the conversation because Kondo does not know it's him so they're starting off they're talking about you know their ideals you know I'm, I'm in here because I decided to protect the country but you know how ironic is that the other one the other one states our uh, Kostra stated first where he stated that you know it's because he was against the country and one was protecting the country but they they're both the same as inmates and that's a very very beautiful piece because it, in reality we're all the same and it's just our ideals that are always clashed and that was a beautiful sense of that between them um, for, for, for Sirachi that, that was amazing and how to portray that but Kasura man god dude when he turned around he's like hey, we, we. James and Luigi Kondo he saw oh, god and, and another thing I really have to give them credit for is that they, literally the first half of the episode 
just like last week. The first half of the episode was 527, the second half of the episode was chapter 528. So once again, keeping the thing of two chapters being animated, keeping the pacing really, really well and really nice, and I'm loving that. I'm loving that next week, it looks like it's about to be exactly the same. So definitely this arc looks to be really, really well paced, and I'm, I'm really happy about that. The soundtrack placement was amazing. Let me get down into the Okikago awesome sauce, man. I absolutely love this moment because, and my favorite part about it is, is, is whenever she tells him to take off the, the, the Shin Sengum uniform, and he's like, no, I'm going to keep it on forever. And because of that, as long as I have this thing on, the Shin Sengumi shall never die. He, he charges after the, after the Joy Rebels. I'm talking about, he, he just blows. You see the most savage phrase from Okita. It was hilarious. <laughs> He just flew. He was like, ah! It was it was hilarious, and I love I love him in Congress so much. So I, I, that entire portion was amazing. What Kagura was saying what, with with Soyo and those flashbacks set to the Kagura and, and, and to the Kamui and, and Sogo Awesome Sauce that was really nice as well. Um, you know that entire portion. I, I, oh my God! The funniest moment in the episode. I was dying. I was in this very chair, sitting right there, watching the episode, and the Saito. And Elizabeth stuff had me dying. I remember how much I used to love that in the manga. But this part, it was, it was, it was just done so well. Because <laughs> they're they're perfect. They're perfect for each other, man. They're perfect for each other. The two silent types. We never want to talk. Now he's now now they both take on the gag to where they just keep on bringing it up. But but what Elizabeth said was absolutely perfect. We didn't come here as Joy Rebels. We didn't come here as Shinsen Gumi. We simply came here as samurai. And I thought that was beautiful. I I was like yo. Elizabeth, dude. Uh, it, it, because it's true. It's damn true. And it's like they've been opposing each other for so long. And now they're working together simply as samurai. That's all they are, man. And it, 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 it hits home so much. You know, the entirety of this arc. Because the thing is, I love how everything linked together as well. Because that, it directly linked towards the end of the episode where we see Katsura and Kondo in prison together. And it was, it was it's just amazing. I mean, it's only the first four chapters in the arc, man, and it's it was just done so well. The comedy hard boiled, son. We're in there, and it was it was hilarious. Really, really funny episode this week, and also really, really good. Uh, once again, that Gintoki punch scene is in my top favorite scenes in the Fair Ocean Gumi arc. I, it's just it, it was beautiful. It was when he just turns when he takes the punch. And he turns around, he nails them, and the dialogue being stated, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. But just with Katsura and his respect for Shige Shige, man, it just, it hit, it hits home, man. Oh, Tai, just realizing, well, especially what Shinpachi said, it's like, it's no longer fun around here anymore. It's like, we always want to get rid of him, but now that he's actually gone, it's not fun anymore. It's like, well, why do I feel this way? It's like, I always wanted this to happen, but now that it happened, it's, it's not fun anymore, you know? And it's, 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 it's really, really hits home, man, especially with whenever Otai was, was, he was defending him. Yo, when Nobu Nobu put his sword up to her, though, I was, I was, I wanted Hijikaze to blow his breath. I'm like, yeah, die. And the thing is, I love great villains, but it's getting common. I get emotional. So I wanted, I wanted somebody to get punched bad. And the thing is, man, Hijikaze is still in the state of, of despair and denial. And it's really sad to see him this way, you know? After seeing him for so long. Being the demonic vice chief in the way that he is, and in this arc, seeing him in this in this depressed manner, it really hurts. It hurts with Sogo too. Where Sogo states that Shin Sakumi died, but but it was really awesome how it took Kagura to lift up the spirits. In the same way with Gintoki, uh, how how it took uh, Gintoki to lift up Hijikata's uh, spirits in a sense. But the Katsura scene was definitely a highlight. I absolutely love that. Yo, whenever he was talking about it, there was a man right here. Yeah, yeah, he he paid for it. Oh God, dude, the tidy whiteys, the man, she, she. I was like, bruh, this is too much. Stop talking my feels, man. That was awesome. The way that it, everything blew up, it just it went went together with his with his character, with his power. Great, you know, the Kasura scenes were done splendid. I absolutely loved them. And now we're going to see what is going to happen in, in, in next week because you know stuff stuff is really moving in in motion, and. One of my favorite things about this entire uh, thing one is, is is what Elizabeth said, which is basically the entire theme of uh, here, is that, you know, they've always opposed each other because of their different ideals, but at the end of the day, they're simply coming together as samurai to protect something that, that, that they love, you know, their leaders. You know, the Joy Rebels love Katsura so much, and the um, Shin Sengumi love, they love Kondo so much, so they're just, they're, they're, they're together just to protect each other. You know, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful whenever two opposing sides can come together 
to realize that they're both equal and they're the same and 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 that's that that, that that's just beautiful to me that, that is absolutely beautiful to me and that's one of the reasons why i really really love this arc is because of stuff like that man just it, elizabeth said it best they aren't coming together as joy rebels or shinsengumi they're coming together as a simply samurai and you could take that as as many ways as you want to take it but simply you know they're equals and they and it's and it's beautiful and it's just really really good episode this week absolutely love the content that was uh, was that was in it and then everything else and the, the soundtrack placement was on point i loved how in some scenes there was no ost playings at all and it really went along with what was going on in this scene as well as everything that was going around but when whenever the soundtrack played really really good and it really hit home Funniest moments of the episode. Gotta give a huge shout out to Saito and Elizabeth once again. Those scenes were hilarious. And I love it. They're just perfect for each other, man. Saito and Elizabeth, man. It's greatness. And uh, without a doubt, the most epic uh, moment you already know. Again, Toki punching the hell out of Nobu Nobu, son. That's, that, that's, that's my punch. That's my punch. That is the punch, guys. That is the punch for me. And it just it just continues to sh to showcase why I love Game Toki so much. It's because of moments like that. Because whenever Otai is like, oh, Gin San, he's just being carried away, but he's carrying that burden. He continues to carry burdens, man. It's like, Gin, bro, take it easy, man. You've already done enough. And he's he's such an amazing character, and I I love Game Toki so much. So now we're gonna see what we're gonna continue on with with the, with the subplots and the main plots. Uh, what, what 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 is gonna happen now, you guys? Leave me your thumbs down below on this week's episode of Gintama. And for all of you anime only, give me give me your theories, give me your thoughts on what do you think is gonna happen next. And overall, guys, just have an.